Hey everyone, Dan Ludeman here with Ludeman Productions, and today I wanted to show you how I used this to make this. Hey everyone, happy holidays. Sorry it's been a while. Um, I spent the holiday with my family and I've also spent the holiday season catching up on a ton of work. I've been kind of backlogged with a ton of weddings and a ton of other productions. Good problem to have, but I'm playing a little bit of catch up. So the folks over at Zion Crane were kind enough to send over their new gimbal called the Crane 2 for us to review and try out. We wanted to put the Crane 2 through a real world production scenario. Now in my world I deal with a lot of quick turn clients, um, they want something shot and they want it edited and returned to them as quickly as possible and that's what I wanted to do with this. So what we did was we got in touch with a local winery here in the area called Prairie Berry. They make some awesome wines, they also own Minor Brewing Company and they also make some just amazing beers, you should go check them out and give them some love. And we wanted to put together a tiny really short little promo piece for them. So the Crane 2 has some really great features. It comes with a really awesome durable case that will actually fit the whole thing. You don't need to take it apart. It also has a toolless design, allowing you to really balance your camera and your lens really super quick. So something really cool about the Zion Crane 2 that I'm really excited about is they have a roller on there that allows you to control the focus of your camera. Now, the only thing about that is it's currently only working with Canon cameras and Canon lenses. Um, I've heard that Zion plans to release an update possibly, allowing it to work with Panasonic cameras and Sony cameras, but we'll see what they end up doing. This also comes with three batteries. Now, I can say that during this three hour shoot, we didn't see the battery go down even one notch. It also comes with a really awesome little tripod stand that comes in really handy when you're trying to balance your camera and your lens. So setup for this was pretty strong straightforward and pretty easy. Um, we obviously use the Crane 2 along with the GH5 and a few different lenses. We used the Metabone Speed Booster along with the Canon 50mm, the Rokinon 24mm, and then we also used Micro Four Thirds lenses, which were the 20mm Lumix lens and the Leoa 7.5mm, which I am very impressed with that lens. So something else that often gets overlooked in shoots like this is lighting. So for this, we used the Aperture LS1 Light storm along with a soft box and grid and then we also used the amazing aperture 120d along with their light dome so prior to this project i definitely had a preconceived notion of how i wanted this to look and feel i wanted it to have a little bit of an edge to it um, and i wanted it to be vibrant in color um, that meant really blasting it with a lot of light um, and then I wanted the camera movement to be moderately subtle. I didn't want to do big sweeping shots. I kind of wanted to simulate what it would look like on a slider. And the Crane 2 came in really handy for this. So gimbals are obviously great at stabilizing your footage. The only thing that they don't control and don't stabilize is the up and down movement when you're walking. So with that said, you want to be very self-conscious about how you walk. Another tip I can give you is making sure that your camera is balanced. The more balanced your camera, the more stable your shot's gonna be, and the less strain it's gonna be on the motors of your gimbal. Something else that proved a little challenging during this shoot is the fact that we wanted to maintain shallow depth of field, yet we didn't have control of focusing our lens on the go. So what we did was we picked a spot with the gimbal a certain distance away, focused our camera up, and then we made sure that we didn't get any closer or any further away when we used the gimbal, and it actually worked out quite nice. Something else that also helped us with this is the focus from Small HD. We attached that to the bottom of the crane and it helped out a ton for pulling focus. Something else I really like about the crane too is you don't have to mess around with any PID settings. All the settings you need are adjustable on the gimbal itself or through Zion's mobile app. So this is great, it makes things really quick. You can balance your camera, make sure it's well, well balanced, um, turn it on and off you go. Thanks again everyone for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions in regards to this video or any past videos I've done. Um, 
let me know and I'll see if I can't bring those up in my next review video. Again, I know that I talked about doing a review for the GH5, but this project just kind of fell in my lap, so I wanted to do a really quick turn, get it out to you guys as soon as I could. I promise the GH5 video is coming. I'll be reviewing that camera coupled with the Ninja Inferno. I'm really excited about it. It is an amazing combination, so stay tuned for that. So if you liked it, toss me a sub, and until next time, I will catch you later. Take care, bye-bye.